Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Gatlin Plasma in Fallout 76, as well as a couple other things, so stick around. We're going to be getting the Gatlin Plasma at the Enclave Bunker, aka the White Springs Bunker, but uh, we're going to be going through the back door, giggity, and uh, we need to be a member of the Enclave. More specifically, we need to be a general in the Enclave, and to do that, uh, we need to do a bunch of quests. I'm starting with Bunker Buster. I have a whole video that walks you through all this stuff. In the top right corner of your screen, you're going to see a card. Just click on that right now if you need help doing that. But anyways, continuing on as the general. Just uh, do everything I'm doing here. Take this path exactly how I'm doing it. Uh, just because this place is a labyrinth, it's confusing. And this is the most straightforward way of getting to the military wing. I know. But uh, once you're in here, we are at the uh, higher ranking uh, part of the bunker now and uh, only generals can access these vendors but uh, there it is the Gatlin plasma it's 380 caps but uh, I want to show you the stats real quick it has damage of energy energy damage of 40 um, it takes plasma cores and the fire rate though is 91 um, to compare that to the Gatlin laser which has a fire rate of 272 I would say that this gun would be weaker if the Gatlin laser um, if its damage wasn't so low it's like probably 12 or 16 for me but uh, yeah I'm gonna have to test those two in the future but you can buy plans as you can see to build the Gatlin laser or Gatlin plasma and you can also get these cool mods for your exo armor and stuff I love that shop I'm trying to get the jetpack mod right now but uh, I want to test this gun out so we're gonna attack the sentry and he was already at half health um, this thing chips away at health, uh, you know, little by little. Then again, I don't have any perks that help me with, you know, heavy weapons. And uh, I'm not sure if there are any energy weapon perks. Now, here's a bug with this gun. I'm shooting at the Super Mutant. As you can see, it's doing no damage. And I believe that it helps to be further back from an enemy. If you're too close to the enemy, um, most of the time, you're not going to do any damage to them. Um, it's when I take a step back and shoot the enemy from... A further distance the gun does a lot better uh, with damage anyways but uh this gun is very cheap to maintain when it does break um, it doesn't take that many uh, materials to fix it and the ammo is actually very cheap to craft as well it's like uh, you know 10 lead some scrap steel maybe a couple other things no crazy rare ingredients or anything um, plasma core is very easy to make but uh, here's me fighting a Scorch Beast with a Super Mutant who's just, I don't know, being a dick to me, not paying attention to anything that's going on around him. He's getting hurt by the Scorch Beast too right now, by the way. But uh, he only cares about me. He's just going to screw with me. But whatever. As you can see, the Scorch Beast is getting killed by this gun. And uh, I'm not doing any bursts. I usually do bursts with this gun because, like I said, it'll stop hurting them. And it seems to help to do the bursts. But, uh... Yeah, it did break right before I could finish it up because I've been fighting all these Scorched. Um, I went through all the ammo. Um, I really wanted to kill that thing. In a future video, I will be using the Gatlin Plasma uh, to kill some Scorched Beasts. But I'm going to be comparing it to the two-shot uh, Gatlin Laser, which I found in my house, by the way. A Legendary was just chilling in there with the two-shot Gatlin Laser. He really, really wanted me to have this gun, I guess. But uh, I appreciate it, Boatfly. Motherfucker. Anyways, uh, I did fire off a nuke as well. I did a little live stream on this, and um, uh, it was very rocky. I I know how to do it better next time. I do want to make a guide on this as soon as I can. Um, but uh, anyways, here's me going into ground zero or the blast radius, anyways. And uh, there's a lot of glowing, bloated feral ghouls in here, and they're really tough. They're uh, right here, I believe they're like level 58 because I was like level what 40 something. No, I'm level 50 something. But anyways, they do a lot of damage. Uh, there's a lot of legendaries, which is awesome. Uh, you can farm their crap off of them. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a whole video on this in the future. It's really interesting. It gets kind of boring quick. Uh, like I said, there's usually only one kind of enemy. I'm gonna be comparing the Gatlin plasma to the Gatlin laser in the future video. Uh, I'm really curious because, you know, the Gatlin Plasma, like I said, has a very slow fire rate compared to the laser, but the laser has lower damage compared to the, uh, 
excuse me, I've been sick and this is why I haven't made a video in a couple days because I can't talk without my throat just going to shit. Yeah, guys, that's it. Um, there's nothing else to really show you. I'm going to be making a bunch of videos here soon. Like I said, I've been sick. But uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be putting out the Power Armor Locations video, 20 locations. I'm also going to be putting out the Weapons Comparison video. There's a bunch of videos I need to work on. I hope you guys found this video informative. I hope it helps you. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And I appreciate that if you do. And also, subscribe for future videos. Because I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff here. Very quickly, too. But, yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. I'm just spraying the whole area around him, scaring the shit out of him. You're fucked, boy!